Good evening and welcome to O'Mahony's first ever virtual book launch. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Colette Potter and I'm the shop manager here for the last 23 years. I usually work quietly behind the scenes but I'm always here to do book launches. We always look forward to book launches as they're very sociable occasions um, and they don't feel like work. Um, it's always very touching to see family and friends showing up to meet uh, the author and to wish them well. It also gives us a chance to catch up with uh, customers we haven't seen in a while. So the format for this evening will be similar to other book launches that we do, albeit with no guests as you can see. <laughs> um, there's no one here to point out the fire exits. Um, as would ordinarily happen, uh, so my job is just to welcome here. Uh, we have a very different uh, kind of audience this evening, so I have no idea what you're currently doing or watching, um, but just sit back, relax, have a cup of tea or a glass of wine and enjoy. So this is Roisin's 17th book launch. We had a great party last year for her 16th, we did a sweet 16th, and today couldn't be uh, more different. Um, over the years we've done most of Roisin's book launches and she still holds the record very proudly for the most book launches Yay. that we've ever done. <laughs> um, so without further ado, I will pass it on to Kira Doherty, who is uh, representing Cash at Art, and she was here towards. Hi everybody, my name is Kira Dorley and I'm the Editorial Director here at Hachette Books Ireland. I'm Roshi Meany's editor for over 10 years at this stage and I'm so pleased to welcome you all here to the virtual launch of Roshi's new book, The Restaurant, which was released on the 4th of June. I know Roshi is going to read from some of the book and say a few words herself, but I'd love to take this opportunity to say how proud and privileged we are to be Roshi's publishers. Having worked with her for years now, Roshin's imagination and her sure-footedness when it comes to creating stories and characters never ceases to amaze me. Writing stories comes as naturally to Roshin as breathing, or at least that's how it feels when you read her work. Her books are populated with ordinary people living ordinary lives, but above all else, her books are about friendship and love between people, and the restaurant, her new book, sees her at the top of her game, where we see a group of strangers who become friends but ultimately end up having a profound effect on each other's lives. On behalf of my colleagues at Hachette, I hope you enjoy the restaurant. I want to say a big thank you to Colette and the team at O'Mahony's and indeed booksellers around the country who are doing their best for authors during these times. A huge thank you to our authors, of course, to Roisin in particular. I know you'll join with me in raising a glass, wishing Roisin the best of luck. Huge congratulations on the restaurant and look forward to seeing it make its way in the world. Congratulations, Roisin. As we don't have guests here this evening who would normally all be here to wish Roisin well with her new book, we asked a few authors to pass on their good wishes. And there's even a surprise appearance from Roisin's mother and sister. I hope you all enjoy this evening and we look forward to welcoming you back in the shop soon. Hello everybody, Siobhan MacDonald here. I'm delighted to be part of the celebrations to launch Roisin's latest book, Into the World. Over the years, Roisin has kept her many avid readers royally entertained with heartwarming stories, many of them set on the fictional island of Rune. Indeed, it hardly seems like a full year ago that we were standing in O'Mahony's bookshop in Limerick to launch Roisin's 16th book Into the World and that was called The Birthday Party. So hats off again to Roisin for her latest novel with an opportune cracking title and I for one can't wait to dive into the restaurant. My reservations are already made. Now Roisin may hail from Listolin Kerry but those of us who follow her on Twitter know that Roisin is full of limericks. And Roisin if I may borrow your mantle as Queen of Limericks for a moment because I have penned a little limerick of my own in your honour and to celebrate the launch of your book. And it goes like this. The corona has us all three nechela. Not to worry, we'll still have a fela. In a nice cosy nook with the restaurant book, we'll imagine we're eating paella. So there you have it. Here is to Roisin's latest novel. Here's to the restaurant, and here's to another bestseller. 
Hi there, this is Judy Carson with a message from my dear friend Roshi Mini on the launch of your latest book. I try to be positive, but when I think about celebrating in Omahanis with you, sipping wine and chatting to friends, and when I compare that to making a video for my daughter's bedroom, it doesn't really match up very well and I'm so sorry we can't do it that way. Roisin, your books have their share of drama, but for me, the best part is the way you can create a world that I actually want to live in and characters that I want to be my friend. And in the days we're living in now, we all could do with a lot of that. So I really can't wait to read this book and I'm sure I will love it as much as I did your other ones. So all I can do is wish you the very, very best of luck on the launch of the restaurant. And I hope the fact that most of us can't remember even what a restaurant is won't stop the book from selling by the bucket load. Enjoy your evening wherever you are. Bye. Roisin, 17 books. Give the rest of us a chance, will you? It feels bizarre to be marking the occasion of your book launch in my back garden and not in Omani's and then in the pub or in a restaurant. See what I did? Uh, but it's a huge moment. I'm sad that we're not able to do it in the pub. I know that when that chance comes around, and it eventually, I hope, will come around, we'll all get a we'll all get the opportunity to celebrate properly and get books signed and tell stories and listen to you tell stories. And that's going to be a fun moment, I think, for everyone when it does eventually get here. In the meantime, I hope today's a great day. I hope the book does really, really well. I'll be looking forward to reading it, and I know an awful lot of other people will too. Best of luck with it. Sorry we're not all there. See you soon. I'm delighted to join in this congratulatory chorus for Roisin on the publication of the restaurant. I remember driving to work in around 2003 and listening with admiration and envy as Roisin talked to Ray Darcy about the Daisy Picker. I remember thinking, God, she knows what she's talking about. She sounds like the real deal. And I was right because she's gone on to raise a massive and fiercely loyal army of readers over 16 years and 19 books. What an achievement. Roisin's characters feel like a second family for countless people around the world. And the places like the Island of Rune feel like a second home. Roisin is the most generous and empathetic of writers. And her books bring excitement and pleasure and joy and peace to her readers' lives. And that, I think, is storytelling fulfilling its highest calling. The world's a better place for having Roisin's books in it. And I know that the restaurant will be another warm and beautiful sanctuary for her legions of fans. Roisin, you're an example and an inspiration to all of us. And long may you work your magic. Hello, everybody. And especially hello, Roisin Meany. I'm coming to you from deep within lockdown uh, to say a huge uh, congratulations to you, Roisin, for the launch of your 17th novel. Everybody, 17th novel. Can we let that sink in for a second? Rarely is there has there ever been a writer of such excellence and such incredible productivity as Roisin Meany. We have a really vibrant writerly community in Limerick, but surely to goodness, Roisin Meany is the queen of us all. How inspiring and how hardworking and how creative and how talented is this woman. Um, the Restaurant, which is the name of the new novel, promises to be just as heartwarming and soulful and connecting as all of her novels always are and I for one cannot wait to get my hands on a copy. I wish I was in O'Mahony's. I wish we were all together um, celebrating and clinking glasses and um, and having the chat but in the absence of being able to do that which sadly we can't now this of course is a really creative and um, innovative alternative so kudos of course as always to the innovative O'Mahony's to Colette and to Katrina and to Gronia and all the gang for making this happen but the most heartfelt and intense kudos must of course go to our star of the day uh, Roisin Meany. Roisin, you really are a superstar. We are all so proud of you. Um, we are wishing you nothing but the best of everything. Um, and may this book be a spectacular 
success just as it deserves to be. Uh, huge congratulations. Missing the, the real thing, but I uh, cannot wait to meet on the other side of this. Well done. See you soon. Hi, Ulf. Hope you've great luck with your book and lots of people buy it. They'll have a great read. So. Um, Roshin, I just want to congratulate you on the launch of the new book. And I'm so sorry if Father and I couldn't be here. It's the first launch we've missed now. Uh, for since the beginning really I think the 17th launch if I'm right and I just want to wish you well and hope it's a great seller okay hello everyone it's me Roisin Meany um, launching my 17th book as Colette said um, and it's a very different kind of a book launch because there's a very small little crowd here. Colette is here, um, all faithful Colette. And behind the camera is Katrina. Thank you, Katrina, who usually is behind the customer services desk on the ground floor. And Lisa, it's in the background. Uh, Lisa, who does the social media. Um, and we're just making the best of it, but that's all you can do in these strange and weird times. And as you can see, I'm in the restaurant. Oman is always put out something out of the bag. I'm here and the good news is that there's only me to drink the champagne, so that's okay too. Um, the restaurant, I, I have no speech, so I'm making it up as I go along, which that's what I do. Um, this, I can't remember what inspired me to write the restaurant, but I imagine it was a restaurant. I imagine it was a night with pals and wine and somebody said, wouldn't this be a good topic for a, a book? And I probably said, oh, do you know what? I think it would um, because it just kind of it just happened just when I was casting around for a new idea for a book about this time last year and uh, I always love to write about food it's my it's my second favorite thing my favorite is eating food and the second favorite thing is writing about food so um, I was in my element writing this book I absolutely loved it and uh, it's a restaurant with a difference um, the main character Emily has been um, unlucky in love, but she opens the restaurant um, as a way of mending her broken heart, and she makes a success of it. And uh, the story tells her story, and it also tells the story of three of the people who frequent the restaurant, Bill and Astrid and Heather. And their lives intertwine, and they become friends, and um, yeah, their secrets come out, and at the end, things are resolved. Uh, I like to have some happiness at the end, maybe a little bit of uncertainty as well. Uh, so, yeah, so this is my book launch, and um, yeah, I'm delighted to have another book on the shelves, and uh, Omahanis hopefully will be opening on Monday, and uh, in the meantime, they are uh, doing online orders, as are a lot of bookshops, so uh, hopefully you'll get your hands on this if you want it at some stage, and hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy it. So, um, yeah, let me thank Kira, my editor from Machette, who uh, has been my editor since book three, so we kind of know how we think at this stage, which is handy when we're uh, discussing the book. Um, and all at Hachette, who are all very supportive and very good. Um, and everyone in Omahan is, uh, it's, it's my favorite bookshop, of course. Uh, it's the oldest in Limerick, and it's uh, the loveliest. Did I know when I said that? Um, and yeah, they always uh, take me in, and uh, I'm sure they're sick to death of me coming at this stage. <laughs> Katrina is shaking her head. Thanks, Katrina. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, look at without further ado, let me read uh, just the first page. I won't. I won't inflict too much on you at this stage. Um, I read the first page of the restaurant, and then hopefully my dinner will have arrived when I'm finished reading. Um, Emily. Emily Feeney, 29 and still in pyjamas, flings wide her bedroom window on a Thursday and tilts her face to the early morning sky, the better to inhale the fresh, hopeful scent of April. She loves beginnings of days, particularly at this time of year, with the vigorous bloom of spring not yet spent and the promise of summer in every burst of birdsong, every drift of cherry blossom, every budding geranium. A sound in the street below catches her attention. There is Vinnie Corbett, reliable as the dawn, emerging from his house across the way. She watches as he slips a key into his pocket and pulls the red front door closed behind him. 
She sees him tap with his fingertips, like he always does, on the adjacent kitchen window before moving off, saying another goodbye to Angie, who will have filled the yellow lunchbox that's tucked under his arm. Hey, Vinny, Emily calls softly. He lifts his head and finds her and sends her up a smile. Morning to you, Emily, he says. Lovely day. Sure is. After he's vanished around the corner, off to his barber's shop two blocks away, Emily turns her attention back to the street that's been her home for the past two years, give or take. A short ramble from the town's main shopping area, it's a pleasing undulation of one and two stories and a happy juxtaposition of commercial and residential, with little alleys scooting between every two or three buildings and a line of trees, rowan, maple, willow, cherry, running along the edge of the wider pavement on Emily's side. It's beautiful. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of my book lunch. A special thanks to my wonderful agent, Sally Ann Sweeney, who is always there when I come looking for her, and I often come looking. Thanks, Sally Ann. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did, and hopefully we'll all be dining at restaurants soon. O'Mahony's booksellers are looking forward to welcoming you all back in the shop soon. In the meantime, you can order signed copies of Roisin's book on omahonies.ie. Thank you for watching our first ever virtual book launch.